Washington. State Representative Steve Harshman voted again and again against expanding Medicaid eligibility in Wyoming. Sure there had to be a better way of getting health care to low-income residents than what the federal government has offered through the 2010 Affordable Care Act. But lacking a viable alternative, and with Washington newly offering an approximately $30 million bonus to expand, Harshman had a change of heart. I think I've come full circle on this, he explained to his fellow GOP colleagues last month. There's not a better plan. Going against the state Republican Party, which called expansion a long-term fiscal trap, Harshman, a former State House Speaker, joined the current Speaker in helping pass expansion legislation through the House. That unlikely advancement gave advocates a sliver of hope that this could be the year Wyoming joined 38 other states in making Medicaid available to people earning up to 138% of poverty. But a week later, the measure fell one vote short of passing out of a Senate committee, killing the bill. I asked myself, is this found in our Constitution? And I can't find it there, said Republican State Senator Lynn Hutchings, one of the committee members who voted against expansion. Does the solution make me more dependent on government or more free from its control? Despite the billions of dollars in new financial incentives made available through the recently passed coronavirus relief package, Wyoming's experience shows Medicaid expansion is still a struggle in the dozen states that have resisted the ACA, commonly referred to as Obamacare. The median maximum income a family of three can have in the non-expansion states for the parents to qualify for Medicaid is about $9,000 childless adults of any income level can't enroll. Advocates aren't giving up, pointing to new signs of interest in some states, including Texas and Alabama. A combined 4 million people without insurance could gain coverage if all 12 states acted. That represents more than one-third of the uninsured in those states. Most are in the South, are people of color and live in poverty, even though most are also in a family with at least one worker. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, a nonpartisan health research organization. But supporters are still running up against the ideological resistance to Obamacare that hasn't subsided, even though expansion is backed by health care advocacy groups, hospital associations and some business organizations. Only healthy people can work, Cindy Delancey, president of the Wyoming Business Alliance, told the state's lawmakers. It's a recruitment and a retention issue for business leaders. In Missouri, however, where 53% of voters backed a 2020 ballot initiative to expand Medicaid, GOP lawmakers are trying to block the funding needed for implementation. That's despite the fact that Missouri is eligible for more than $1 billion in additional Medicaid funding if the expansion moves ahead.